Both plastic and CO2 are byproducts of fossil fuels. Plastic pollutes the land and oceans. In the oceans it kills sea life on the surface and down to the bottom dwelling critters. Plastic does not decompose like organic matter, like living things, because it is synthetic. It is made by humans and not natural like life. Plastic breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces for over 100 years in some cases. On its way to the bottom of the ocean, critters swallow it and die. Or, it entangles critters until they die. Plastic products in water also release harmful chemicals. And did you know that the oceans and the atmosphere are tightly connected? Burning fossil fuel releases greenhouse gases like CO2 into Earth's atmosphere. Some CO2 gets absorbed by the oceans and remains for centuries and longer. Some gets evaporated back into the atmosphere where it remains for 200 to 300 years. Some remains over 1000 years. And even though CO2 makes up a very tiny part of our atmosphere, our air, it is very powerful. It has great energy for life as it spins and gyrates creating heat. This means that many generations of humans will come and go and still experience the heat effects of CO2 that you and I release today. More, even if we stop releasing CO2 into Earth's atmosphere today, oceans cannot stop releasing heat into the atmosphere for hundreds of years. Latent heat is stored like inside a hot frying pan or microwaved potato. Plus, CO2 causes ocean water to become more acidic. Ocean plants and critters may not survive in more acidic oceans. So learn about plastic and CO2 pollution in the oceans and atmosphere. Learn about climate ideas and you will understand more about our Earth systems and problems. Each one teach one.